Hey, hello there, boys and girls, and welcome back to the final installment in our Christmas saga here on Tales from Pastor Carl's Toy Box. Today's episode takes place after Christmas, for it is the tale of the wise dudes. <laughs> so sit back and enjoy and see what might have happened long time ago in a land far, far in the east. Hey! Hey, uh, hey, George, come here! You gotta see this! What is it, Fred? You playing with your telescope again? Yeah, this is awesome! Look at that! I, I, I can see Pluto! The dog? No, not the dog, silly, the planet! Oh, I see it there! Hey, wait, what is that? What is what? Look, 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 look up there! Where? I don't see it! Right off to the southeast of the cosmic fishes! Oh, I see it! It is a bright star! I've never seen a star so bright in all of our celestial gazing. What could this mean? Oh, I do not know. This is most amazing. It Could it be? No, it couldn't have been. I bet it is. Oh, where'd that book go? I was just reading here in the ancient Jewish literature. Oh, you mean that, that prophecy from the prophet Daniel that was long lost? Yes. How did it go again? It went something like, we three kings... Of Orionar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, bearing gifts. They traveled so far. Over mountain and uh, field. Or in mountain traveling yonder, falling under star. That, that's something like that. Yeah. But I don't understand why they needed an oar if they were traveling over land. Not that kind of oar, silly. Oh, I thought we were wise guys. Oh, we are. Maybe, maybe we are the ones who are going to go to the promised Messiah of the Israelites. Oh, I don't know. There's a problem. What is the problem? There is only two of us. And the prophecy clearly said, we three kings of Orientar. Unless one of us is schizophrenic, we haven't got a chance of fulfilling that scripture. Oh no, I don't know what we're going to do. We've got to have three wise guys. Oh, excuse me, uh, are, is this the uh, location of the wise guys club? Oh, yes it is. And what are you doing here? I would like to join the wise guys club. Oh, I don't know, you have to be really, really wise. Oh, I am very, 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 we get the idea. Oh, wise. Now you must pass the test. Nobody has ever passed our tests. Oh, I'll, I, I could pass the test. I'm really, 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 really... Cut that out. Sorry. Smart. Okay, then tell us, what is E equal? Oh, that's quite elementary. E equals MC squared. Oh, he is at least kind of wise. Oh, yes, but does he know the longest word in the English language? Of course I do. It is pneumonia ultramicroscopic sulcovacanokinesis. But you know what it means? Of course, it is a long ailment caused by the inhalation of volcanic dust. Oh, everybody knows the longest word in the English language. But do you know what an aerobiogeoindustrial cosmomicromorphologist does for a living? Well, of course. He studies aerobiogeoindustrial cosmomicromorphology. What else? Oh, he is very, very wise. I ask him your final tricky question. Oh, no one has ever studied this. Tell us, oh wise one, what is the most common ingredient in shampoo? Shampoo? Well, let me see. Is that... Methyl chloral isothiazolone in your hair, I see. Oh, he knows the most common ingredient of shampoo. Indeed, he is very wise. And it is very fortuitous that you have come to us at this time. Why is that? Because we have just seen in our telescope a very bright star. Oh, a star of wonder, star of bright, star of glory and delight. Yes, you have read the Hebrew scriptures too. Yes. We know that, well, we think at least that three kings are supposed to go worship him. But we only had two. Well, now you have three, all for one, and one for all. Uh, yeah, but we have no idea where to go. Well, if you had read the German scriptures, you would have, I mean, German, where did I get that from? The Jewish scriptures, you would have seen that it, the, there is a verse about, You, O Bethlehem, though you are least among all, will become greatest. Apparently, this king was to be born there. Then let's go. Well, we'll take my speedy camel and we'll be there in no time. <whistles> 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 Oh man, we are never going to get there. This is going to take forever. Oh, have no fear. We will just put all of our gifts up on him and we will get there in no time. Freeze all everything here. Uh, uh, how long is it going to take you guys to get there? Oh, at the rate we're traveling is. Uh, at least, well, before he's two years old. Oh, this can't do. Uh, these are supposed to be really short because we put them on the website and everything. A what? Never mind. Um, uh, boys and girls, uh, we're just going to, like, uh, skip ahead. Uh, can you, like, uh, fast motion it or something? Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll do our best. Uh, giddy up. Oh, oh, oh. oh. 
Okay. Oh, we got there much more quickly than we thought. Oh, hey, look. What? Over there. Oh, there's a little baby or a little boy. And, and his, his face glows. Oh, he is the most beautiful young child we've ever seen. Perhaps he is the one. Excuse us, but uh, are you, um, are you uh, the promised child? You must be the wise man coming from the east. Oh, we are so glad you have come. Is this the boy? Hello there. Hi there. Me name Jesus. Oh, so nice to meet you. We have brought you gifts of gold and of frankincense and of myrrh. Oh, these are wonderful gifts. Oh, thank you so much. Me nice to meet you. Me name Jesus. Oh, we are so honored that you would be here because we know that someday this little boy is going to grow to become a great teacher and the savior of the world. But we are honored to be here and to be a part of this historic event. Yes, it's a wonderful time. And we're so glad that... It... Um, what is he doing over there? Oh, hey, hey, away from the camera. Away from the camera. You cannot eat the camera. Stop this. Stop. Cut. Cut. Ah!